Hey everyone, Porsche Racer 14 here again, and I thought I'd share a new replay since uh, the new patch came out, which doesn't change too much. I mean, it adds the Russian cruiser line, um, gives a little buff to uh, manual selection of AA. Um, secondary guns should be more resilient to certain types of damage, I guess. I guess they're saying they should be twice as tough, something like that. Um, they got rid of that, I guess, the really annoying screeching sound when the modules get broken on a ship. And they put it, reverted it back. At least that's the way it sounds like to me, these sounds that they had in place before. Anyways, um, out here with uh, Bud here, Catastrophic, in his North Carolina. I'm out in my North Carolina, and we're going up against some Iowas. And a couple of Nagatos, New Orleans, Admiral Hipper, Atlanta, a couple of Yorks, Benson, Fubuki, and a Low Yang. And on our side, of course, our North Carolinas, Turpitz, Nagato, Admiral Hipper, a bunch of cruisers, such as the. Um, Bagami, Tago, Atlanta, York, and for destroyers, we got a Fletcher, which is a beast. Uh, Fubuki, which is actually not bad. It's got decent guns, and Mahan, again. Got good guns. So, everything else, I'm matchmaking looks good. We just have to contend with uh, their Iowas. Kind of. Because I'm guessing their Iowa is going to, even though they're not in a the division, they're going to work together. I mean, I would. If I was Maya, I'd work with another Iowa. Or some other ship. Um, Iowa's generally work good sticking together just because of their, their speed and their range. I'm not saying the Nagato doesn't have range, but it's it's a different kind of play style when you have speed. Yeah, there's me being a smart ass because I haven't seen a carrier because I uh, really wanted to try out that uh, or um, get us to try out um, our the manual AA selection buff on uh, I think that only takes into effect if you don't have the the four point captain skill for manual AA selection, which gives you a 100% buff. This is just normal throughout the game where you hold down control and you go and click the squadrons in the air and you get a little bit of a perk against uh, that fighter squadron. Whereas if you wouldn't select anything, your AA just behaves normally, I guess, within in the RNG world, I guess. Anyways, figured we're gonna... We were gonna kind of push around here, but then Cat started seeing, okay, well, he's getting fired on here, and I'm like, ooh, Atlanta, but dang it. Not quite. And now he's he said he's getting constant fire on from those Iowas back there. And he wants to turn and go east. I was like, oh, okay. I'll throw out the plane here and... Oh, holy smokes, torpedoes. <laughs> or torpedoes. And sure enough... Okay. We had a destroyer out there. I'm hoping our Admiral Hipper can go chase him down. We're starting to get a few things show up in here. Yeah, some Yorks. Okay. Uh. Okay. So Murgami's doing something strange. Yeah, get that low yang out of there.
Yeah, I don't know. Like I thought, I thought those shells uh, could have been a little bit better, a little bit more ahead. But here, hmm. But a quarter second ahead. And I got the Iowa shooting in. Another York. Hmm. Just haven't been able to really hit anything and do any significant damage. I mean, 5,000? Off all the shells, and again, I just either wasn't getting the lead right. And all these smokes, more torpedoes coming in. Got a little bit into the Iowa. Okay. thing is at these distance and I mean, I'm not saying I was nimble but depending how you do your build you can get some decent rudder rudder shift on it I mean it's definitely more maneuverable than a Montana that's for sure and with her speed you can really mess around and too much ahead That's always the thing to watch out on uh, Iowa. It's a, it's it's got a long bow on it. And again, yeah, there's, there's me manual selecting. There's no way I'm shooting that far back on it. It's a problem when sometimes when ships get clustered together. It's a hard time. I'm just ah man, just I've been able to really hit anything. But thankfully, God was visible. Ah, oh, there we go. And I was again appear up. Dang it! <laughs> That's one thing I I do like. Uh, yeah. More damage off of one shell, but okay. That's one thing I do like the American battleship. Their concealment, you can get them at least within the confines of the game, pretty low. Benson sneaking up here. And in the replay, it shows I was shooting at the hill. But here I am, when I'm looking at it, it's telling me I wish there's there could be a gauge or a meter it's saying, hey, like land interference or whatever. But it's like you're looking through and it's like, okay, you can take this shot. It will make it over. Whereas the game is like, nope. Mechanics like, nope, won't make it. I don't know. We still got some ships. It looks like Cat's gonna keep going and pushing around. There's a Benson there. Hmm. And we got Nagato, that I see him, but he's getting, he just started going behind that island. So I'm waiting patiently. Uh, Nagato's not terribly fast ship. I guess 24 and a half knots or something like that. Just waiting. Waiting. Just waiting. It's not good. Should be shooting at something. Just waiting.
I guess technically I probably could have guessed and shot. But I kept guessing he was turning into around the island. Yeah, he's turning in. If I would have shot sooner, I probably could have got a piece of him before he started to do his big turn. So, ah. Uh, oh well. I think our Atlanta sees him. Yeah. Yeah, he's taking a lot. Think that's it. And then, I think right about now, Catastrophic's just sitting there, holy crap, they got destroyers in their cap. I'm like, uh, bail? Let's get out of there? <laughs> I don't know. But then, I got my own issues up here. I got two, two Iowas. And they're just getting out of that detection range. Like I said, I don't know if he's going total, total full speed. Point three quarters is going half. Where's the other guy? Cause I just shot one one shot. Nice. Was I too far ahead? Did he turn? Yeah, he turned. That's why. Of course, he's gonna turn too. And I'm like, oh, okay, I gotta, I gotta turn. I don't want to go running close to these guys. One, one bloody shell. Well, they're going for that Atlanta. Thank you, Atlanta. So I'm showing major broadside here. So if I don't get lit up here, this worked out good. Yeah, and they just seemed really, really, really occupied with that Atlanta. Man, we got a turp that's in beside me here. Didn't think that Iowa was going... Oh, he's going faster than I thought. Penetration. Okay, so maybe I can make these ones better. A bit more lead this time. And that probably does it. Yep. Of course, Citadel in the last hit. That's the way, the way it rolls. He's turning out. Because he was like, that was uncool. I gotta get this big mass boat around. Why are you backing away? Well, because the way the dispersion works on this North Carolina, it seems to be... Now, this is just me. I don't have any um, scientific whatever formula or proven data to say this is the way it should be. But at least for me, in the way I play my North Carolina and the way it is on this build, 
15 kilometer range. I, I don't know what it is, that dispersion or the way we need to get all turrets working together. Um, 15 kilometers seems to be about that sweet spot. 15-ish. And that's what we're coming up to here. Again, this is just my, I guess, you can even call it conjecture. This is where I find this ship does its best damage. Now, granted, obviously, point-blank range, it's it's going to hit, and depending on the ship, it can hit hard. But this is where I seem, for me anyways, where I aim it, this is this is where it works. Now watch these shells as they start grouping in together. Like, it just... Yes, I know who you're showing broadside, but I... Where I wanted them to go, that's where they went. And like I said, at around that 15 kilometer mark... Yeah, I guess he's a little bit closer now, but... Shooting around that range, it, it's, it's devastating. And this is where I was like, oh no, oh no, he's gonna go try to ram the turpits. I'm like, turpits, torpedoes, something! And I was like, ah, man, <laughs> holy smokes! Wow! Talk about a close call. Yeah. <laughs> that was... That was holy smokes. But anyways, yeah. Around, like I said, around that... 15 kilometer range. If you can... Set yourself up to be... Like I said, ish. Ish. Within, within that range, somewhat. Um... This, this thing hits hard. Um, I, again, I've gone over um, my modules before on this ship. Uh, but the first one is, of course, main battery modification one, for sure. Uh, second one, I believe I did the AA modification one. In the second slot, third slot... Oh, uh, what would I have done? Oh, I did the... Um, Faster reload, slightly slower turret traverse, as you can see here. She she takes a bit to turn around. I'm used to it. The boat, the ship, she uh, she still swings pretty good. Um, as long as you're going about half half speed or more, she swings pretty good. Um, and then um, damage control one and two. And Captain's Perks, um, I don't even use the Expert Marksman on this. I mean, eventually, if I had a fully capped out Captain, I would throw that on, just to make it a little nicer. But as it is, uh, I got the two four-point Captain skills um, for the AA, Advanced Fire Trading, and then um, Manual Control, Manual AA Control. Because I still see carriers, and even then, um, if we don't seem to have too many cruisers, or cruisers kind of take off somewhere, or whatever, or I just have, like, a destroyer tagging along with me, I know I can take out planes pretty good as myself. I can't scare them off. I mean, obviously, you have to be aware and turn your ship. Um, but yeah. 
And this is why I'm trying to alter course and not not also go into a cap in case he's coming back this way. Because I want to see if he enters the cap or not. Like it would kind of at least let me know where he is. I'm guessing he's up behind these islands somewhere. I mean, I would be if I was in a destroyer. Why go battle another destroyer when I got battleships that are nice, long, and relatively slow? Now, I haven't altered my speed too much. I mean, besides churning, slowing it down. So I'm wondering if that's enough to get me out of harm's way, or to have to keep churning. And there's those torpedoes. It's okay. Match is done. And they died out anyways. But yeah. Again, I like the North Carolina for tier 8. Even tier 9 and 10, she can hold her own.